There is so much construction happening outside right now and I try to remain as unbothered as possible, but I do have to admit I am bothered by it. Construction aside, we are going to be taking a look at all of the outfits that I wore in August to give you guys some outfit inspiration and just show you how I personally like to style the things that I have in my closet. So let's dive in. The first weekend of August was Outside Lands, which is a music festival in San Francisco. It's three days long, but I only went to one day because honestly, I just don't think that I could hang all three days. But I had the most fun dress on. It was this silver chainmail dress. And to be honest, I have been seeing tons of these kind of outfits and pieces all over online and I have like desperately wanted one. And when I made the decision that I was going to Outside Lands, I knew exactly what I was gonna wear. Paired it with a belt so that it gave the dress some shape because otherwise it was just like really heavy and like sagging down. But when I added the belt, I was able to define my waist a little bit more and it made the dress a lot more flattering. And so I paired it with black tights and I wore it also with these black boots. They're really comfortable. I think I've mentioned these boots several times in my videos. They're super comfortable. I'm at Outside Lands. I'm gonna be dancing. I'm gonna be walking everywhere. So again, comfort is key, especially for situations like that. And then for later in the night when it got cold, I had this black jacket with this rhinestone fringe. This dress got ruined though. <laughs> the slit at the side, it like ripped all the way up. And then the strap on the right side completely broke. So thank goodness that I had that jacket because otherwise like I just, I, I literally would have had to leave because I would have just been indecent. That night, my best friend and I stayed in the city and when we woke up in the morning, we got all glammed up and went to Sausalito for lunch on the way back home. And I wore that shirt dress, it's like a men's shirt that I thrifted and I paired a corset over top and I only brought the boots for shoes so I just re-wore those again and I love that outfit. Okay, this isn't an outfit that like I really documented on purpose, but this was something that I wore to work, so it's it was a little bit more casual. And it's this knit green tank top that I got from Abercrombie and I paired it with some white linen pants. The reason that I have it documented is because I bought one of my first designer pieces off of eBay. I, okay, if you don't know about eBay, it is probably the best place to buy designer pieces because they are just so ridiculously low cost. I would say like, just be careful that it is authentic before you actually click the purchase button. But I got a pair of Dior sunglasses that I have actually been wanting for a while. And then when I saw them on eBay and it was a quarter of the price that they are on the Dior website, I just, I had to get them. I just think they're so cool. Of course we're doing an unboxing together, this time Dior style. I literally can't believe I'm holding these and these are mine right now. I'm wearing a pair of Dior sunglasses right now. I can't believe that I own something that's designer. I can't stop. She made her way onto the dresser and that is where she will live. The next weekend, I went out with one of my girlfriends and we went and we played pool and then went out dancing afterwards. And I actually re-wore that outfit that I had worn the previous weekend when I went to lunch in Sausalito with the shirt dress. But I did try on a couple other outfits that I just thought were worth mentioning. I really like this outfit, but it looks to me kind of like Gucci inspired. I wore a just plain white button down shirt under a really tight dress. It's actually a little too tight. It's kind of small on me, but I still love it. And I just, 
I suck it in. And I paired it with this really cool purse that I have and I hadn't picked out shoes yet so in this photo I just have that one boot on but I probably would actually wear it like this. following week me and my best friend went out for we just we love to eat snacks and so we just went to a restaurant and ordered a bunch of different appetizers and I wore these good American leather pants they're faux leather pants and I paired it with this corset top that I got from Sabo skirt I love this top and I think this is the first time I wore this top like publicly it is um it is a little scandalous and so that's kind of like why I haven't really worn it out but I was feeling really courageous this day and I also paired it with this bag that I got from Amazon which is a Colt Gaia dupe. We love Amazon for designer dupes. <laughs> Later that week, my family and I went to a dance show that is in this beautiful historic park. So I got super glammed up. It was kind of like a glamorous event. Um, they, It was all old Hollywood theme, or that was the theme of the show. And so I wanted to kind of channel an old Hollywood look with my outfit. And so I wore this black dress that I also got from Amazon. And then I paired it again with that bag that I got from Amazon and these shoes I actually got from Macy's and I wore it with those Dior glasses that I got off of eBay. One of my good friends is an event planner and she asked me to manage and run all of the fashion vendors for this big festival that she was putting on. And so I took on the job because I love fashion and it just sounded like a fun little project for me. And that also included me organizing a runway show with them and then emceeing the runway show. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Unity Festival. We are beyond excited to have all of you here joining us today. Enjoy the rest of the Unity Festival. I wore this cute little summer dress. I love that dress. It is so comfortable. I got that from Sabo Skirt also. I just think, oh, I felt like a little fairy princess in it. The next week I was filming that styling one dress 24 different ways video and one of the outfits from that video I actually went out and ran a few errands in and it's the one that I had that beautiful white puppy sleeve top over that white dress and I really love that outfit and I got a ton of compliments when I wore it out and about. Later that week, I had a work from home day and I wanted to go to a cafe to work because, uh, it, I don't know, that's just such a vibe for me to go to a cafe and edit. And so I got super glammed up for this. This skirt I actually thrifted. It's Machino, Ma oh goodness. I do not know how to say this designer's name at all. Uh, sorry everybody, sorry Italians who I'm probably offending saying this, but I thrifted this skirt and I I think I got it for like $2. It was an incredible deal. I was blown away that I got this and I wore it with this white ruche tank top that I also have mentioned a lot in my videos. It's a staple in my wardrobe.
the next week it was actually my 26th birthday and for my actual birthday, my family and I went out to dinner at one of my favorite restaurants. And so I put on this dress that I actually got from Target. I still can't believe this dress came from Target. I paired it with these green sandals that I also got from Target and then this fun fringy beaded white bag that I thrifted. Oh, and then the earrings, those were so fun. I wore these like butterfly crystal earrings that I got on Amazon. to continue my birthday celebration, my birthday weekend, my best friend and I booked a room at the Palace Hotel in San Francisco. Uh, basically the theme for the weekend was to have a princess weekend. And so when we got into the city, I was wearing this gorgeous sweater that I got. It's got crystals all along the collar and it drapes down the back. And I just paired it with some plain black jeans and those black boots that I as you know, I love. <laughs> and then I wore it with that silver uh, Amazon bag that I got just to like match all of the crystals. That sweater I actually got recently, which will be in an upcoming haul. So make sure you are subscribed so you can see when that haul comes out because I got some crazy pieces in that haul for fall that I can't wait to share with you guys. So definitely hit subscribe if you wanna see it. Later that night, we went out to some bars that are on the top floor. It has beautiful city views and so we got all dressed up of course and I wore this dress that I got from Sabo Skirt. I have so many of the pieces from Sabo Skirt so check them out. They have beautiful designs and I love this dress. I felt like a princess in it. I wore it with those princess shoes that I got from Macy's. They're like Amina Mawadi dupes. the morning we were just exhausted but we had to keep the princess weekend going and so we got super glammed up to have breakfast at the palace hotel and immediately when we were done with breakfast we ran back up to the hotel room put our sweatpants on and then drove home first I went out thrifting so again stay tuned for a thrift haul I've got a couple hauls coming up for you guys and trust me you will not want to miss them but I went thrifting and then I went to an antique store and I wore this strapless brown top that I got from Abercrombie it is so comfortable and I think it's one of the most flattering tops that I own and I paired it with this skirt that I got from ThreadUp but it is free people. I wore it with some black sandals and a black purse. in August that were worth mentioning. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful getting a little bit of outfit inspiration. This is one of my favorite videos to film. It's really fun for me to go back and reflect on my month and just, I don't know, express a lot of gratitude for all the people in my life and the beautiful things that I 
am so blessed to have the opportunity to do. So yeah, these videos are so fun. It just it fills my heart with a lot of gratitude. I am so grateful for all of you guys for joining the little fashion community that I am building here on YouTube. It has been really fun to slowly start to see my channel grow. I am currently at 511 subscribers, so if you want to make it 512, please hit that subscribe button. I would be so honored to have you guys join my little fashion family. All right, friends. Well, that's it. So I'll see you next week. Bye.